Hello, Year 5, and welcome back to Maths. Um, I hope you had a lovely weekend. I hope you've, you've, you've found a nice, calm, quiet space for our lesson so that you can concentrate. Um, if you need to get your pencil, uh, rubber and perhaps some paper or your printout, please do so now and then come back when you're ready. So let's start with our do now. I'd like you to complete these five questions, pause the video, and then when you've finished, unpause and we'll go through the answers. How did you do? Let's take a look. So the answer to number one. Seven fifths. Number two, nine sixths. Number three, 14 eighths. Number four, 18 elevenths and number five, 17 fifteenths. So today we're going to learn how to convert between improper fractions and mixed numbers. Let's get started. So let's take a look at what improper fractions are first. An improper fraction is a fraction with in which the numerator, so this is the top number, is greater or equal to uh, the denominator. Remember, that's the bottom number. So all of the answers from your do now, here, if you got them right, are all improper fractions because the numerator is greater than the denominator. We can see from here, um, it shows that the number of equal parts the whole is divided into and that we have more of them. So the whole is divided by the denominator. The denominator, the denominator tells us how many equal parts the whole is divided into. So in this one, we know that the whole is divided into six parts, six equal parts. The numerator tells us how many parts we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For this improper fraction, it tell, the denominator tells us that in one whole, it is divided into four equal parts. The numerator tells us how many parts we have. So altogether, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's take a look at mixed fractions. Now, a mixed fraction is a whole number and a proper fraction combined. So here, this is our whole, and then this is our fraction, five sixths. This is our whole, one, and our Fraction is seven eighths. What's our whole number? Four, great. And what's our fraction? Good, three quarters. You can see, for example, this one, one and one sixth, that we have one whole, yeah? And we also have a sixth, so one part of that sixth. For this one we have one whole and another three quarters. One, two, three. So let's learn how to convert improper fractions into mixed numbers. First of all, let's look at our steps to success. Number one, Divide the numerator by the denominator. Number two, write down the whole number. Number three, write the remainder as the new numerator. And to remember the same denominator, we will use the same denominator. So let's start. Number one, divide the numerator by the denominator. So the numerator is this 11 and we're dividing it by the whole number four. 
So I'm going to use my four times tables and I'm going to count to 11. I'm not going to go over it. Four, eight, 12, mm, four, eight, so that's two. And I'm going to count on from eight and stop at 11. Two, uh, sorry, eight, nine, 10, 11. And that's remainder three. Okay. So now I'm going to write down the whole number. The whole number is this number here. I'm going to write that here. And I now need to write the remainder as the new numerator. This is the remainder. So I'm going to write that here. And then I've got to remember that I'm using the same denominator, which is four. So 11 quarters is equal to two and three quarters. Let's try another. Right. Tell me what's the first step? Say it out loud. Good. Divide the numerator by the denominator. Tell me what's the numerator? 10. Good. I'm going to divide it by shout out the denominator. Three. Excellent. So I'm going to use my three times tables and I'm going to count up to 10. Three, six, nine. Ooh, that's three. Remainder, how many? Tell me. Good. One. Tell me the second step now. Write down the whole number. Which one is the whole number? Yes, three. So I'm going to write down three. Now, what's my third step? Read it out. Good. Where's my remainder? Good. So I'm going to use the remainder and I'm going to write it as my new numerator. Good. What's the denominator? Well remembered, it's the same denominator, three. So, 10 thirds equals three and one third. Let's try another. This time, I'd like you to tell me everything and I'll follow you. Read out the first step. What's my numerator? What must I do to it? And what's my denominator? Good, 15 divided by six equals, remainder. Okay, what's my second step? Remind me which one is the whole number? Good. This is the whole number. And tell me what the third step is. Good, so what's my remainder? And is that going to be the numerator or the denominator? Good, the numerator, well done. Shout out what the denominator is going to be. Excellent, good, so 15 sixths equals two and three sixths. So, I'd now like you to complete the first task, which is this. Oops, let's try and get this all on the same page. Okay. There we are. Um, you should have a printout, or if not, you can download it. Um, go, just about. All right. Um, if you uh, if you can pause the video and then unpause it when you have finished to mark your answers. Welcome back. So how did you do? Let's take a look.
Here are the answers. Good job, so just pause it and then unpause it when you've finished. Again, if you can't see all of the answers clearly, I know it's cut off a little bit here, you can find the answer sheet on the title page. OK, how did you do? Great. OK. Now let's continue. So we've learnt how to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers. Now let's do it the other way round. Let's convert mixed numbers to improper fractions. Let's take a look at our steps of success to help us. First of all, we're going to multiply the whole number with the denominator. Then we're going to add the answer to the numerator. Step three is write this number as the new numerator and then write the original denominator. So let's start. Multiply the whole number, so this is the whole number, one, with the denominator, four, equals four. Great. Now I'm going to add the answer to the numerator. So where's my numerator? Good. Here. Four plus three equals seven. Good. Now, step three, write this number as the new numerator. Remind me, is the numerator the top number or the bottom number? Tell me. Good, yes, it's the top number. So I'm going to write seven. I'm going to draw my vinculum. And then number four, write the original denominator. What's the original denominator? Good, four, we go. So one and three quarters is equal to seven quarters. Let's try another one. Oh, before we do, I just wanted to explain how the improper fraction and the mixed number are equivalent, because again, we have one and three quarters, so we have an entire pizza and then three quarters of one. OK, that's our mixed number. And let's take a look at our improper fraction. We have an entire pizza and also three quarters, but we've counted them as quarters only. Let's count how many quarters we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. And you can see how they are equal. They're just represented in different ways. OK, let's try another. So we are going to convert this mixed number to an improper fraction. Can you tell me what's the first step to success? Read it out. Excellent. So I'm going to multiply the whole number, which is three, with the denominator. Lovely. And that is 15. Great. Now I'm going to add the answer of my numerator, uh, my answer, which is 15, with my numerator. Good. Is the answer 17? Lovely. Can you please shout out the, uh, the third step? Excellent. This is now the new numerator. Well done. And now we're going to write the original denominator. So the denominator is five. Good. So we know that three and two fifths is equal to 17 fifths. Let's try another one. Here we go. So this time again, I would like you to tell me exactly what to do and I'm not going to say a word. Um, step one. Good, tell me what to multiply. Good, step two.
What's my answer? And what am I going to add it to? What's my answer? Lovely. Step three. Is that the top or bottom number? Good. The numerator is. And what's the original denominator? Excellent. Four and five sixths is equal to 29 sixths. Brilliant, year five. So let's do one more, I think. Multiply the number with the denominator. What's the shout out the whole number? Good. Multiplied by excellent. And the answer is lovely. What are we going to add that to? 14 plus good equals excellent. Numerator or denominator? Good. Numerator 19. And my denominator is 7. Superstars. Fantastic. We did that really quickly. Right. I think you're ready. We're going to do the second task. And this time I would like you to complete. The conversion of mixed numbers to fractions. I'm sorry if you can't see all of them. Um, you might have to get the sheet from the cover page. Hold on. There we go. OK. Un uh, pause the video to complete and then when you finish, unpause and we'll go through the answers. Great, welcome back. So let's see, how did you do? Here are the answers. Don't forget to tick or cross them before uploading. So make sure you're marking your work. When you finished, unpause and we'll continue with the last part. Great, how did you do? Excellent. I'm pleased to hear you're getting the hang of it. Okay. So let's go on to this section. Use the symbols to complete the equation. We have less than, equal to, and greater than. And our equation is one and one quarter and three quarters. So let's take a look at our steps to success. Number one, convert mixed number to improper fraction. Number two, multiply the whole number with the denominator. Number three, add the answer to the numerator. Number four, write this number as the new numerator. Number five, write the original denominator. And number six, compare numerators and write inequality. So let's do this together. Number one, convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. So what we need to do is multiply the whole number with the denominator. Four times one. This is the whole number and the denominator equals four. Good, so we've done one, two. Add the answer to the numerator. Four plus one equals five. Great. Write this number as the new numerator. That's our new numerator. Write the original denominator. I'm going to write my vinculum. And the original denominator was four. And now we can play numerators. Four, fifth, four and five. Which one is greater? This one, four fifths is greater than three quarters. Sorry, five quarters. <laughs> um, not four fifths. Five quarters is greater than three quarters. Right, let's try another one, shall we? I'd like you to read out the steps of success. 
Number one. Good. So we're going to. Can you tell me the whole number? Multiplied by. Good. Whole number multiplied by five equals. Good. Number three. So my answer is plus three equals. Good. Number four. Good. So I'm going to write that as my numerator and my vinculum. Number five. Good. What's the denominator? Five. And now we're going to compare numerators and write the inequality. Eight and eight. Eight fifths and eight fifths is greater than, or sorry, less than, equal to, or greater than. They're equal. Yeah, they're equal to. Well, let's try another one. So we're going to convert our mixed number. We're going to multiply the whole number with a denominator. Five times three equals, good, 15. We're going to add the answer to the numerator. 15 plus three equals 18. We're going to write this number as the new numerator. That's 18. Write the original denominator, five. And now we're going to compare the numerators. So here we have two and here we have 18. Oh, there's a clear winner there. Is two fifths less than equal to or greater than 18 fifths. Yes, yeah, less than, isn't it? Hmm, well done. OK, let's take a look at this one. Ah, let me see. What do you notice about these two fractions? What do you notice about these two fractions? Tell me. Yes, absolutely. The denominators are hmm, they're different. So this is what we've got to do first. We're still going to convert the, the mixed number to an improper fraction. So let's do that one first. 12 times 1 equals 12. OK, 12 plus 3 equals 15. Good. So I'm going to write 15 and what's my denominator going to be? Good. My denominator is going to be 12. OK, so I've converted my mixed number to an improper fraction. That was quite easy. We now know how to do this. My second step is to find the lowest common multiple that can be divided by both denominators. So I'm going to look at both of my denominators. I have 12 and 14. I now have to find a number that can be divided by 12 and that can be divided by 4 equally. Sorry, not 14, 4. So what number can be divided by 12 and 4? Let me have a think. Mm, well, 24 can, can't it? 24 divided by 12 equals 2. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Hmm, that, I think that's OK. Hmm, although it did say here the lowest common multiple. Is there a number lower than 24 that can be divided by both these numbers? Let me have a think. Oh, actually 12 can, can't it? 12 can be divided by 12 and 12 can also be divided by 4. Hmm, OK, so I think I found the answer to that one. It's 12. I'm going to tick that. Now I need to convert the fraction with the lowest denominator. So I'm going to look up my two fractions. Which one has the lowest denominator? 15 twelfths or three quarters? Yeah, absolutely. The quarters. So this is the fraction that I am going to convert. I'm now going to look at my fourth step. Whatever you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. So, what must I do to four to get 12? 
Yeah, I'm get, must multiply it by three. Four times three equals 12. So whatever I do to my denominator, I now must do to my numerator. So three times three equals nine. Absolutely. So I now have 15 twelfths and nine twelfths. My final step, oh, sorry, forgot to tick them. Five, compare numerators and write the inequality. So I have 15 twelfths and nine twelfths, 15 and nine. Hmm, 15 is greater than nine. OK, let's try it again. Let's try one more. What's the first step? Good, I'm going to convert my mixed number to an improper fraction. So here, four times two equals, good. Now what do I do? Yep, yeah, eight plus three equals 11. Excellent, so this is my numerator. And what's my denominator? Good, four. Great, so we've done this one. Now what do I need to do? Find the lowest common multiple that can be divided by both de denominators. So I look at my two fractions and I have eight and four. Ooh, that's quite easy. My lowest common multiple is eight. So now I need to convert the fraction with the lowest denominator. OK, so let's take a look. What must I do to four to get eight? Good, multiply it by two. Well done. And now I do whatever I do to my, to my denominator, I also must do to my numerator. 11 times two equals, good, 22. 22 eighths. Great. Final step, compare numerators and write inequality. So I have two eighths and 22 eighths. Is it less than, equal to or greater than? Yeah, definitely less than. Good job. OK, we have one final one. Would you like to do it? OK, I'm going to ask you to tell me what to do throughout. I'm not going to say a word. And go. Well done. Yes, we're going to convert the mixed number. Good. Equals. Now what? Lovely. Is that now a denominator or numerator? Excellent. What's the denominator? Good. OK. So these are our two fractions, nine six and three quarters. What's the second step? Mm -hmm. What is it? Good, wow, you really did find the lowest, well done. But this time we need to convert both of them. So let's do it methodically. Let's start with the first one. Good. Excellent. Well remembered. Oh gosh, that was my mistake. Not the nine. Remind me what it is. Good. Excellent. And the next one. Multiplied by. Mm -hmm. Let me just turn on the light. Maybe it's not that bright. OK. Excellent. As well. Good. Now we're going to com compare both. Is it less than, equal to or greater than? Well done. It is greater than. Wow. So good job, year five. I would now like you to complete, apply and reason. When you've finished, come back and we'll mark those together. So pause your video now. 
and welcome back. Um, I hope you didn't find that too difficult. Here are the answers. Don't forget to mark everything before you upload them onto Seesaw. I hope you enjoyed that lesson and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.